Hello Patriots and welcome to the Truth Channel. Today we have a video clip of the Deutsche Bank and how the collapse of their bank could lead to an economic downfall like in 2008. Comment below and tell us what you think. It towers above Frankfurt and for many a collapse is unthinkable. Deutsche Bank's results have helped delay those fears to some extent. Germany's biggest lender made an unexpected but relatively small profit of 278 million euros. It was thanks to a 14% rebound in bond trading, but there's still no sign of a settlement with US justice authorities. They're still in negotiations with the DOJ to try and bring the fine down from $14 billion down to something that it considers more reasonable at around uh, $5.6 billion, which has been set aside now in litigation fees. So it does look like we are seeing some progress here, but I think people are still going to remain concerned. CEO John Cryan has vowed to redouble restructuring efforts. He also wrote to staff warning the situation will stay difficult for a while. This is a massively st systemically important bank, uh, not just in Germany but in the Eurozone as a whole. I think the, um, the other concern is, while well, aside from the fact that the bank is so big and probably is too big to fail, um, it does just reignite these concerns about the banking region in the Euro area as a whole. The UK banking sector has a few worries too, but Barclays, which in recent years has had to fork out billions in fines for regulation breaches, has reported a forecast beating bounce. Profits were £1.7 billion. Like its US rivals, it benefited from a bumper third quarter in investment banking. It's an early endorsement for CEO Jez Staley's restructuring plan, brought in after Barclays was punished for the LIBOR scandal, among others. It's still got Brexit issues to face, but maybe Deutsche's chief can take comfort from the fact that some banks hit by regulators can pull through.